Hi, let's go straight to the point. You want to combine multiple PDF files into the one single file. Now, obviously, you can do that with multiple softwares, but you want to do it with uh, Photoshop or uh, I will show you another product as well from Adobe. Now, here you have the four PDF files. I just made uh, a sample of them. Doesn't really matter. It can be now these PDF files are just one pages each, but I will show you how you can do it if uh, your PDF files has multiple pages. Now you open Photoshop and sorry, select these images and then you just drag and drop them in Photoshop and you will open them as pages each one of them. Now make sure you are on a RGB color, not on a great scale, because otherwise your images, uh, your pages will not be colored. Now the resolution depends for what you want to use them. If you want to use them later on for printing, then here you should have a 300 pixel per inch. Now if you want to use them just uh, to send them as an email or uh, they are just documents not very important, not high resolution images, then you will open them. And you open each one of them. Here we go, I have the four images. Well, four PDF files, but I just want to mention that it can be images as well, doesn't really matter. And then you go to Automate, PDF Presentation. And you can browse for your files. I have them here and I can select them like that. Or I can add the open one. Now here I have the four documents opened and obviously you can sort them by name. One, two, three, four. Now I rename them before I put them here. Here we go. And I click save. And we're going to go here and we will say the new PDF or combined one. Doesn't really matter what name you are giving it to me. Now, one more settings that uh, it's worth of looking at, it's the compression. Uh, the compression, if your PDF files has images on it, depends how you want the quality of it. Now, if you want to just send it as an email, then medium quality should be fine. If you want to print it, then select the maximum quality. I usually use the medium quality because obviously I just need them to be sent out as a uh, mail attachment. Here we go. And then we're going to go to the new PDF. We open the new PDF file. Here is a new PDF file. We rescale it to 100. And they are a bit fuzzy. Probably I lower the resolution a bit too much. And But you can play with it. Now, this is the first way of doing it. Second way of doing it. I deleted the combined one. Second way of doing it, it's even simple. You open Art of Acrobat, then you go for Tools, Combine Files, you add the files. I add it right now. You can rearrange them the way you like it. And once, let's say, you have the way you want it, then you just click combine. And now you see uh, the resolution of it is it much better because this one does not use a compression. The text is crispy. However, my image is fuzzy. That's because my original image, which I uploaded the logo was a low quality logo. I want the PDF to be a very small one. But you see, you don't have it here because I have not saved it. So I will just do it one more time for you to show you. You open Acrobat Pro. Uh, sorry, you open Acrobat Pro, you go to Tools, Combine PDF, Add Files, 
we're gonna add them let's say there is not no need to be rearranged combine and then file save us now you can reduce the file size here or you can restrict from being edited forward but that's a different story i don't want to choose a different folder this folder it's fine for me and binder one here we go press save and then i have it here and here are all four images well or four pdf documents now the combined pdf works obviously only with combined pdf files but in photoshop you can combine multiple images into a single pdf so these ones might just be images if you want to work on them then you can work you can arrange them the way you like it thank you for watching